Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon and today I'm taking you through the top 50 most played games according to the website BoardGameGeek, a website that I definitely do log my plays for. I've been doing it for many years and this is ultimately going to be a bit of commentary around this top 50 and maybe around how they've changed compared to the prior month. So in question we're talking about the month of October, October 2021. And we have some new entries, five new entries. We've had, of course, a number dropping off as well. They include, sorry, six new entries. Dropping off this month, we have Ankh, Gods of Egypt. I'll be playing an Egyptian-themed game in a couple of days. The game dropping off on this occasion from 28 was uh, Ankh, so in at 28. Interesting game, error control game. We have Jaipur dropping off. So, of course, there's a first edition and second edition, both on Board Game Arena. I'll come back to Board Game Arena because there are multiple editions of other games on here as well. Also, Grand Austria Hotel, um, another game that I do have, which I do have actually on the channel as a link, I can put that through, has dropped off at 45. That's because of a new Kickstarter version by Borden Dice. Six Nymphs has dropped off a great game by Wolfgang Kramer in 1994. That dropped off awesome Board Game Arena at 48. Dominion at 49. Many versions of Dominion, maybe people are playing other ones presently. I played it again last month. And Love Letter, awesome Board Game Arena, has dropped off at 50. So, in this particular list, we have four games now in from 2021, and going back in prior years, we have six in 2020, prior to that, 11, 9, 5, 6, 2, 2, 1 in 2013, nothing again in 2012, and four from 2011 or earlier. So in at 50, we see Draftosaurus. At this moment, please do like and subscribe, as well as hit the notification bell and share. I know that's lots to take on board. Just do all those things I mentioned. By all means, rewind, hit the arrow back button, 10 seconds. Also check out the description where you'll find links through to some various games I'm mentioning, as well as, of course, there's a new one that I've played since this last list. I finally got around to playing that one. I'll talk to, that, to you about that in a moment. And of course, in that description, you'll find uh, opportunities to see lots of these games played in person by myself. On Instagram, please follow over 2,100 photos. And lastly, Patreon, please do support the channel. Lots more coming, including a top 50 most played games based on time. That's something that I've been asked for as of last month. So this is the least time, second least time spent playing. It's the sixth highest entry bump, jump back in again. I have played it. You'll find my links through to this as well. I have played it in person. I prefer it maybe in person as well, as with numerous games on Board Game Arena. And yes, you can find that under also my playlist. Check out the playlist, the top 50 most played games each month, as of course for Board Game Arena games. So this is jumped in, it is on Board Game Arena as I mentioned, and it's jumped up one position, just squeaking in. Space Base, now it is now out of Alpha, it's in Beta, I believe, on Board Game Arena. And so that's gonna be jumping up more and more, I believe. It's uh, dropped three positions though. And uh, Machikoro Legacy, which is kind of similar to Space Base, similar kind of concept, so that's also um, in the play. Another game I've got on the channel is Great Western Trail. Numerous versions of, of this. Um, a dark guy who, obviously designed by Alexander Fist, I've conversed with a few times. Least plays per player. In at 47, Concordia, fifth highest new entry. We've got Nilavadir. Now that is also on board Game Arena, dropping five positions. We've got Clank, a deck building adventure. Now another, of course, deck building adventure like Dominion. So this is in at 45, dropping three positions, hoping to try out the legacy version. I prefer probably Clank, um, Clank in Space, but I prefer that one. Uh, it comes and goes for me, but yes, this game by Paul Denon. Okay, we have Nemesis still on here, and it's the fourth highest new entry. It's jumped back up 14 positions, second least plays per player. Is that a sci-fi thoughts? Well, let's come back to that. Isle of Cats, also an alpha on Board Game Arena. Quite quirky, the alpha variant of this. A third least plays per player, you need a big screen in my view. And uh, we talked about Isle of Cats, for some reason it's popping up again. It's a Wonderful World, still haven't played this one yet, very keen to. Very similar looking box to pret a -Porte, which is live on the channel, and if you do subscribe, you will see a review of that coming out very soon. It's dropping four positions. Now, a game that I love, Terrifying Minds Ares Expedition, also on the channel. I look forward to bringing a solo playthrough, as uh, well as a cooperative playthrough, hopefully. It's the biggest fall, it's the biggest fall at Matt Players as well, in at 40. Point Salad, again, I finally got to play it finally early this year. Still no digital version of it. It's dropping three positions by AEG at 39. Draws the Line, still dropping. It's no longer next to, uh, spoiler alert, Gloomhaven this occasion. It's dropping three positions. That's still one I'm on the list to play. And I do know someone who can, and it's just when we get around to cooperative plays for this one. And then Res Arcana, I played uh, this yesterday again. It's up one position, also on board Game Arena. 
And then finally, that's pretty clever. Now, this game, I actually happen to have shot another video for the Clever Cube, the third one. And if you want to check out that, you'll see that live this week along with Preto Porte. Third joint biggest fall in players, this one. Third biggest faller. Hopefully, Clever Cube will overtake it. Now, Brass Birmingham also dropping three positions. Interesting how much this is dropping. And also, Viticulture Essential Edition, second biggest fall amount of players. Second biggest faller. All down to Board Game Arena. It's going to find its place in due course. The crew, Mission Deep Sea, this is the third highest new entry, it's the most plays per player. Now I indeed in fact have been playing this quite a lot. It is on Board Game Arena, I'm not surprised whatsoever why it's in here, I think it's still going to stay on it. Never played it in person unfortunately, still very very keen to I think be much better. Much harder is what I find. Uh, Arkham Horror the Card Game, no surprises here, it's one of numerous Halloween themed games I feel that's on this list. Second biggest riser, third most time spent playing per player. And funnily enough, we have Horrified, second highest new entry. We've got a different screen, which is why we've got a bit of a lag, potentially. Hopefully, you don't mind the quality. And then we have, in again, we have just one, least time spent being per player. I reckon around Christmas around the corner, we're going to see this jump up again, perhaps. Root, uh, four jumps up for this one, maybe because of the app. People might be logging it against that. Whereas something completely different, an abstract strategy game, we have Sagrada dropping three positions. And there we go, uh, we have another game here, we have, sorry, we have Fancy Resolves in before that with a slight glitch there. That dropped three, Sagrada's also dropped three, and then we have Gloomhaven, hopefully, there it is. It's the third highest riser, really interesting this one, second most time spent playing per player. Very interesting there. On to the top half of this list in at 25, we have Scythe. Now, I've played my little Scythe, that is now live on the channel absolutely love and prefer my little side same experience to me just a bit quicker um, and more accessible very very enjoyable really great opportunities to work against someone out with someone uh, less downtime nothing against scythe a still very good game i could very good higher than average rating for me but um, my little side just has something about it that means i can play more scythe more often let's put it that way more quickly as well more games of it so this is jump two positions Whereas Seven Wonders uh, is an interesting game because with Seven Wonders, what's going on with that is we have um, obviously the second edition, which is what I love my players against, and it's on Board Game Arena, but this has dropped four positions. Whereas Calico is dropping five positions, which is very interesting, what I'll come back on to. We have no change at all, Spirit Island, loads of fans for that, loads of solo plays. Another Board Game Arena game, we've got King of Tokyo, no change here at all. And then finally, we've got Parks. Yes, I've finally played my games of Parks. Finally, I've got my review out. I've got a solo playthrough. You can see that on the channel as well. It's the highest riser, unsurprisingly, due to Board Game Arena. So we also have Welcome to Awesome Board Game Arena, dropping two positions. We have got the Castles of Burgundy, the third biggest faller in map players, again, on Board Game Arena. Marvel Champions, also I've got videos out. I've got playthroughs, me playing through various characters and more on its way. So this is the second most played per player, the most time spent playing as well. We have King Domino, third least time spent playing. Now, again, that is also on Board Game Arena. We talked about Calico. Haven't played that, but I have played Cascadia. Great game. It's dropping one position. Calico's high on my list to be playing next, though. And we have Cartographers. So neither this nor Cascadia are online unless you have the app. So I'm keen to try that out. It's the third highest, biggest riser. You may recall, depending on how much you've been watching this, I had Cartographers a year before um, there was hype around this game. I didn't know what it was, I happened to be sent it, and I, uh, sorry, I ordered it online, and yeah, very surprised, I've been quite lucky around that. But we have another Spiel des Jahres winner here, no change for Carcassonne, in at 13. Furnace, highest new entry, in at 12. Heard good things about this. And now they're not, next 11 don't change at all. We've got Everdell in 11. We have Patchwork, in at 10, also on Board Game Arena. Spender on Board Game Arena, in at number nine. The Quacks of Quidlinburg, play this again. I love the most recent thing, Alchemist. That's a great expansion. Highly recommend that. I prefer it to the Herb Witches. Board Game Arena again, Seven Wonders Jewel. Board Game Arena again, we have the crew, third most plays per player. Biggest gain in players, June Imperium. Yet still no change in the uh, rank. And that, of course, is due to the film, probably. Very good film, very much enjoyed it. The second film's now been commissioned. Now a trilogy has now also been announced. I look forward to playing the rest of that. I also think uh, if I got a dog, I'd call it Fremen. The Zool, also great on Board Game Arena, second biggest game in players. If you want to see my review for Summer Pavilion, please check that out. That'll be live this month as well. Terraforming Mars, no change in at three. Third biggest game in players, also on Board Game Arena. 
Lost Ruins of Arnak, which means Wingspan has no change whatsoever. Another Stonemaier Games, also the publisher for My Little Side. Similar lovely uh, linen rule book as well, in at number one. That has been the top 50 most played games as logged. Please do log. I use board game stats, amongst other things, according to the month of October 2021. Let me know your thoughts, drop me your comments. Thanks very much for helping compose this and enjoy the rest of your day.